Breaking news. CBN governor says, let Nigerians have heartache. I am having fun, Emefeli, after meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari. A few days ago, um, Emefeli took INEC APC to court uh, that um, his fundamental human right is being infringed. He wants to participate in the presidency and still be CBN governor. Forgotten the terms of his agreement when he took on the rule to become the CBN governor. Well, Emefeli, after Buhari directed that all appointees should resign, has gone to see Buhari himself. Just like we saw our very own brother talking about the first day, Minister Ngigi, who says he is not resigning until he sees Buhari and speak with Buhari, is not going to resign based on some information one person has just given he's not resigning and whatever wants to happen let it happen Emefeli as well has told that line has gone to see buhari now after meeting with buhari this is part of what has happened please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details let nigerians have a heart attack i am having fun cbn governor godwin Emefeli says after meeting with Buhari, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefeli, on Thursday was spotted at the presidential villa where he met with President Muhammadu Buhari. Although the meeting held behind closed doors, Emefeli failed to disclose his mission in the villa, nor did he make any official statement on his meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari. Upon peddling by state house correspondent to make sure to make some comments he simply said he was he has no news for them but that there will be news very soon he said there is no news now but there will be news very soon paddled further on his unannounced visit to the presidential villa the cbn boss reiterated you heard me i said there is no news for now but there will be news very soon reminded that Nigerians and the international community are anxious about his position. Emefeli countered that they should not worry themselves for nothing as he was having fun and doing what he should do. Let me say it categorically clear. Nigerians should not develop a heart attack. It's, good to, it's not good to have a heart attack. I am having fun. The governor of CBN Bank ha was quoted to have said, after meeting with President Muhammad Buhari. So, uh, Emefeli has gone to see Buhari, you know, with the, with the, with the matter being on that, um, you know, he's one of the persons or people who should be resigning based on what his contract says. You know, Emefeli's contract has clearly stated it that he's the CBN governor and as such, he should not be found dabbling around matters that he should not you know, um, part of the documents he signed in becoming the CBN governor himself and the deputy is that they will not have anything called conflict of interest. And why they hold that post, they will not, you know, go for any other services as the, as the job description alone is enough work on its own and enough to go by. You know, so the information came from President Muhammad Buhari that all appointees who desire political you know position should resign mm -hmm. not political vote politicians who have voted in mm -hmm. those who were appointed that's what the new law says okay mm -hmm. those who were appointed into their offices should resign mm -hmm. you know and it stated all the categories of people that ought and needs to resign well emifeli fails into that falls into that group and remember before that statement came emifeli has already taken INEC. I was already taking INEC, um, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, APC to court, you know, to get clarification if he could contest. Well, the reply has come that um, he's not due to contest. The court has dismissed his case. Okay. However, after Buhari's uh, words that he cannot contest, Emifeli has gone to see Buhari. And on returning from seeing Buhari, the only statement and words that came because uh, nobody could really ascertain what the meeting was all about. All that we just heard from him saying, you know, to some people is that Nigerians, they should not have a heart attack because of him. 
because really and sincerely speaking, according to him, he's having fun. He's having fun. He's just enjoying himself. Well, these are the days upon us where the laws of the land are being, you know, redefined by individuals to suit their selfish needs and purposes. Okay, or, or in the among the people who are participating in this very said election, we have well over forty now. At last week Friday, it was just about um, just a handful, but as we speak, we have over forty. Yeah, we have over 40 persons, individuals, who all want to take over from President Muhammad Buhari. So this is where we are at at the moment. And uh, we'll continue to keep you up to speed and up to date as all this begins to uh, you know, unfold. You know, the elections are right around the corner and uh, nobody should pretend that these things are not happening. It is high time we need to redefine, okay, where we are standing in terms of us getting good leadership. For a long time now, we have we have pretended to ourselves, okay, on the lines of you know of of us, you know, taking things as though it does not matter. We have not paid attention to who really should be our leaders, or they've imposed some persons on us who we must vehemently, together, we want a court says no to such, okay, and begin to rise up and determine who becomes our leaders, if really and sincerely speaking. It goes with our vote. Then we must make those, those choices correctly and right. If you fail to vote, you give the other people the upper hand to install their person and the people whom you may not want on that position. If you fail to vote, if you fail to, to, you know, to, to carry out your constitutional right, some other persons will take advantage of that and they will do and undo. And that's why we need to take this rather very seriously. We are that crossroad again. Look at all that has happened. Look at what is happening in this nation. Is this what a nation should be? No development at all. Since Buhari came in, please, I would like you to point to me one development that you, that's tangible, that you can point your, heart to, your hands to and say, indeed, in Buhari's time, this, 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 this was done. Don't forget all the promises we were promised. Too numerous to mention. The promises were over the roof. And we were so happy that finally some Messiah who understand what we are going through. Nigeria is going to be developed. You know, our children are going to go to good schools. But what is it today? What good schools are we talking about? Students that are at home, yet politicians are only planning about their 2023 election. You know, people who don't care. Is that a good, I mean, these are things happening. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.